if x and y are integers, what is their sum? So note there's a piece of free info here in this data sufficiency question, letting us know that x and y are integers. Uh, that's probably the most important thing on the computer screen. Looking at the statements, I'm thinking statement two is probably easier to work with. So I'll start with that one. Given this inequality where we have on the number line two followed by x followed by y followed by five, and again, remembering that x and y must be integers, this is enough for us to find the values of x and y. They must be three and four respectively. Can we find their sum? Yeah, sure we can. Statement two is sufficient on its own and we can go ahead and eliminate ACE. Now for statement one, maybe we want to zoom in by a factor of two so that we're not working with fractions. And then we get six is less than x plus y is less than eight. So what could x plus y be? Uh, well, we know that x is an integer and y is an integer, therefore their sum, x plus y is also an integer, and there's only one integer between six and eight. Uh, so the sum x plus y must be seven. Now I don't know what the value of x is and I don't know what the value of y is, but the question just wanted to know their sum. Can we answer that question? Yes, we can, their sum is seven. So statement one is also sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is D. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below, and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed, and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time.